my reception. Thanks for joining us today for our literacy lesson. It's the start of a new week and that means we get to have a new story. First of all, what you're going to need today is later on in the lesson you're going to need something to write with and some paper. So if you want to get organised you can pause the video now and go and get it. Super. Now we are going to be listening to and responding to a story today and I wonder what our story is going to be today. Oh, we've also got, oh look who's come to see us. We've got Bertie back. Say hello Bertie. Let's give away. Can you give him a big wave reception? Oh, oh he said he's so happy to see you all back ready for your learning today. So shall we see our story? Let's have a look. Now we've been doing all about Chinese New Year and we're carrying that on again this week. So, oh, look at our story. It's called The Magic Paintbrush. And here is a little girl. Now, oh, hang on a minute. Oh, oh, oh Bertie's got a really good idea. Bertie says, We've got really good at being able to talk about an illustration. What was that word again? Illustration. I wonder what it meant. Oh, that's right. It means the pictures in a story, doesn't it? Now, we've got really good at talking about illustrations. So Bertie wants to know, can we talk about the illustrations on the front cover and the illustration on the back cover to see if we can predict what might happen in the story? I think that's a really good idea, Bertie. Thank you for that. So, hmm, I can see, I can see a girl, hmm, so I wonder if she's going to be our main character. That was another important word, wasn't it, in stories, a character. Can you remember what that means, reception? Oh, that's right, a character is someone in the story, so it could be a person, it could be an animal. That's right, so she looks like she might be the character. Now I wonder what she's going to do in our story. What's she doing? Can you describe to your helper or your teddy what it looks like this girl is doing? That's right, look, she's got a paintbrush. And remember, the story's called The Magic Paintbrush, isn't it? So I wonder what she's going to do with that paintbrush. Can you pause the video now and predict Using the illustration, predict what you think is going to happen in the story. Hmm, amazing. Now, I think that she's going to use that magic paintbrush to do something really, really special. Let's have a look at the back. Oh, here, look. Oh, there she is. We've got someone else here. Oh, I wonder who that person is. He's got a long white beard, hasn't he? So I think maybe he's quite old. He's got a long white beard. What else do you notice about this man? Talk to your helper or your teddy now about this illustration, this other character. Hmm, he's got very, very, very special clothes on, hasn't he? And a very, very special hat. So I think he is going to be somebody very important in our story. Now this book is written by Julia Donaldson. She's a really famous author. I wonder if you can think of any other books that you know that Julia Donaldson has written. Pause it the video now if you think you know. That's right, Julia Donaldson has written some of our favourites. She's written The Gruffalo. She's written The Gruffalo's Child. She's written Monkey Puzzle. She's written absolutely loads and loads and loads of our favourite stories. Okay then, so now we are going to have a read. Can you see? Are you sitting comfortably? Now this story is very special because, see if you notice anything about the words. Go and catch some shrimp, Shen. Go and catch some fish. Go and gather oysters to fill the empty dish. What do you notice? Go and catch some fish to fill the empty dish. I noticed something about that. Oh, that's right, the words rhyme. Fantastic. Shen sits on the seashore. A stick is in her hand. 
She sits there drawing pictures. Pictures in the sand. She draws a flower, a flying fish, a hen, a hare, a dancing dog, a weeping willow tree. Look at these beautiful pictures that Shen, so we've been introduced to our main character. This is the girl, look on the front. There she is, and we found out she's called Shen. And she likes to do drawing, doesn't she? Oh, what's happening here, look? The waves roll in and wash away the pictures in the sand. But on a rock, there sits a man. A brush is in his hand. He looks around, he calls to Shen. Come here, he whispers, shh. We don't want all the world to know about this magic brush. Magic brush. He slips the brush into her hand and tells her to be sure, never to paint for wealthy folk, but only for the poor. Hmm, I wonder what that means. Did you catch some shrimp, Shen? Did you catch some fish? Did you gather oysters to fill the empty dish? No shrimps, no fish, no oysters. Shen laughs and runs inside. She paints a pot, then stands and waits until the paint has dried. The paint dries on the paper. The painting of the pot is not a painting anymore. What do you think's happened to the painting? Let's find out. But real and steaming hot. Look, her painting has become real. The pot is full of shrimp, Shen. The pot is full of fish. The pot is full of oysters to fill the empty dish. The village people hear the news. Into the house they crush. The young and old all want to see Shen and her magic brush. What's she going to do with this brush? She paints a melon for a boy, a ladder for a man, a basket for a woman, and for a girl, a fan. And soon the news spreads far and wide and people stand in queues for blankets, boats and buffaloes, for hats and coats and shoes. The news spreads over fields of rice and over desert sands until at last inside Shen's house, the powerful emperor stands. <gasps> we thought he was someone important. Look, he's on the back. He's the powerful emperor. I order you to paint a tree and make it very big. Instead of leaves, paint golden coins, a hundred on one twig. Shen shakes her head. Your majesty, I promise to be sure, never to paint for wealthy folk, but only for the poor. The emperor scowls and stamps his foot. He bellows to his men. Seize the magic paintbrush and seize the girl called Shen. <gasps> now Shen sits in a prison upon a cold stone floor. She waits there till the emperor opens the prison door. He holds the magic paintbrush. He orders, paint that tree. Paint me my tree of golden coins and then you shall go free. Shen takes the brush and bowing low says, Gracious Majesty, come back here in the morning and you shall have your tree. Ooh, is she going to do it? <gasps> do you think she did it? I don't think she did either. That night the emperor lies in bed and dreams about his tree while Shen is busy painting a horse and then a key. The key turns in the prison door and Shen stands free outside. She climbs upon the horse's back and swiftly starts to ride. What a good plan! 
Where are my coins? The Emperor shouts. Where is my golden tree? Where is the magic brush? He cries. Who let the girl go free? He climbs onto his fastest horse and rides with all his men. Over the fields and desert sands, they gallop after Shen. It's Shen, it's Shen, she's back again. The neighbors gather round, but Shen is painting silently while distant hoofbeats sound. I wonder who that might be. That's right, it's probably the emperor and all his men. She paints a mighty river, a river deep and wide. The emperor and all his men stop on the other side. The emperor scowls and stamps his foot. I'll swim across your river and so will my men. But Shen is busy painting, a beast with scales and claws. Its scarlet wings are open and flame curls from its jaws. My dragon needs a tail, says Shen, and then it will be real. Yes, then it will be roaring and ready for a meal. Now, shall I paint the tail, she asks, or would you rather go? She dips her brush into the pot. The emperor cries out, no! He turns his horse and rides away. Away ride all his men. Shen takes the magic paintbrush and starts to paint again. Look at that dragon that she was painting. She paints a mound of golden rice and cakes like little moons and drums and flutes till all the streets ring out in merry tunes. The sun goes down, the moon comes up and shines as bright as day while Shen and all the villagers dance the night away. What a lovely, lovely story. Now, oh, here's Bertie. Oh, Bertie really wants to talk a little bit about the story. So we finished our first video. So I am going to wait for you over at part two and we'll have a little chat about our fantastic story. See you in a minute. Bye.